my goodness. What is Gucci in the booty, y'all? It is 4 o'clock on the dot right now 4 p.m i just finished editing the longest video i've ever edited on this channel well, it's not the longest video it just took the most work i'm in like a group chat with two of my other homies and they are uh, just content creators like me we're always talking content creation we're always like scheming up master plans and stuff like that and let me give you a little backstory i've been making content for like 10 years now i started off making hair videos about waves getting waves in your hair and stuff like that and then from there i transitioned over to sneaker youtube where i i did that for a good amount of years a good a good um someone's over here making some crazy noise it's a demon as i was saying i was doing hair videos and then i moved on to sneakers and then i took a hiatus well i was a mandatory hiatus because my channel got terminated for like three years I, my channels got deleted uh, over something so stupid if y'all want to hear that story I, i'll be glad to tell you but I say all that to say that I was having a conversation with my homies and one of them, shout out to Wada, was on my back because this channel right here, this is my cut and paste channel. I don't ever do nothing special here, ever. I, I film myself, I grab myself, which let me grab that really quick because this one is crazy. This remote right here, I got at Savers for $4, maybe less. Now I think it was about $4. I picked up uh, another one that already sold on eBay for, I wanna say 30 or $40. I sold this on Amazon. Mind you, this has been listed up on, on, uh, on eBay for the same amount of time for $40. This sold on Amazon within two or three days of me listing it for $82. Also, I realized that I don't know how to uh, like look up comps, like check my solds. If I can do that, I will pop it up. But if I can't figure it out, you're just gonna have to believe me, $82. I live in New England and four o'clock is basically 8 p.m. during the fall. So I'm just gonna plug in this light, hopefully. Oh, oh gosh, please don't fall. Okay, please just stay right there. Okay, so I'm talking to Wada. Wada's looking at my channel. He's not a fan of me not using basically my skills. And it's, it's skills like, cause I didn't, I don't know how, I have 10 years of just learning through trial and error. I didn't go to school. I can't even do nothing that crazily fantastic. But he's on my back about me not using the skills that I do have. So I say, you know what Wada, fine, I'll do it. And it took me like three days to edit this video. I, I, right now, it's exporting to YouTube, so I have no idea how well it does. I am fingers crossing for at least a thousand views because of the amount of effort and time that I put into that video, I swear, Wada, this is supposed to be my laid back chill channel. I can't, bro. The next thing that sold were these Zumbas. It, Zumba, isn't that a, that's a, that's the dance routine, right? Wait, are, is the, I think the, the brand, look, it literally says Zumba on the back. Is this the, yeah, these are called the Zumba Air Stomp React Low Tops. Very interesting. Um, these sold for full price, I think. Yeah, yeah, it had to be. These sold for full asking price of $30, $34.99. And these sold on my main eBay account. Kind of, unfortunately, I would have liked them to sell on my uh, second eBay, but listen, money is money. But yeah, as of right now, that video is exporting. I'm very excited to see how well it does just because I did put a lot of work and effort into it. And if it doesn't do well, then I don't have to do... It's kind of like a win-win for me, honestly, because if it doesn't do well, or if it does like literally the same amount, then it's like, I don't have to put in that amount of time. That You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going to get the same amount of views as I normally do, I might as well just stick to my three videos a week schedule and uh like not edit at all just <laughs> just cut and paste as i go dude these right here i definitely undersold these but also they're like beat up so these are the air max one paris i think they're called or london or something like that and i got these from my sneaker plug for ten dollars I talk about him all the time. I get to buy, he lets me buy whatever sneakers I want that he has for $10 a pop, doesn't matter, brand, condition, whatever. And um, they sold on Poshmark actually, which I'm happy about because I need to hit like a certain sales amount on Poshmark in order to become a Poshmark ambassador. And to be honest, I was a Poshmark ambassador before years ago when I first started resell, well, taking reselling a little bit more seriously than I have because I've been reselling since I was like 12 with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But 
Um, yeah, I need to make a certain amount of sales to become a Poshmark ambassador. So like whatever that, whatever that is. Um, uh, so I accepted an offer. I had them listed for $40 free shipping and, um, they sold in like, dude, I, I think a day less or maybe a couple hours or something like that. I got that offer for $34 free shipping. So $6 under my asking. It's fine for me. I got back, um, uh, like after, you know, cause Poshmark does the shipping themselves. So they let you know how much you'll get back after you accept the offer, like all shipping and all that stuff is already taken care of. So I got back $19. So I basically kind of just doubled my money. Well, yeah, I basically doubled my money, which actually brings up a very interesting point that I would love to talk about. But I went through and I scanned all the DVDs that I have for Amazon and I still have like this mess and this, all this stuff that I got to pick up. So I'm going to reconvene with y'all tomorrow, which is like, obviously 24 hours for me but like the next clip for y'all okay it is a new day friday in fact and honestly i wish we could just you know i just went from yesterday but boom immediately we just snapped right here and now we're on friday i want to do that in life if we can do that in life that would be perfect not everything though you know what I'm saying? i don't want to fast forward through like the fun stuff you know hanging with friends family video games and all that good stuff but like jury duty, snap right through it. Ain't nobody got time for that. But what I wanted to talk to y'all about yesterday where we left off was ROI, return on investment. I've always said that, you know, like all my sales, I want them to be at least $20 profit when going out the door. So that's after eBay fees, taxes, cost of goods, all that good stuff. I want to profit 20 bucks, right? If I sell five things in one day, that's a hundred dollars profit that I make per day, which would be ideal. Now I was thinking about it, right? Most of the items that I buy are sneakers these days. I get a lot of other stuff like random stuff when I go to flea markets and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm buying more and more sneakers. Oh my goodness. I have something wild that's going on my main channel. Well, I don't know if it's going to be wild, but I'm assuming it's going to be wild. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But anyways, I'm mostly spending $10 on sneakers and other doodads, right? And as I was editing the video from that I put out yesterday, I'm looking and I sold something. Um, what did I sell? I sold a pair of Hoka's for $50, basically $50 that I got for $20. And after like taxes and fees shipping, I ended up profiting $11.44. And actually the eBay fee calculator said I was going to get $8 back. So I actually got back more than the fee calculator. So sometimes I guess it's like give or take. I, don't, I haven't seen it be, actually I haven't checked. That was the first time that I ever like cross-referenced the eBay calculator and um, the actual like sale that went down. So I don't know. I'm Oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe I, because I always put it to $10 for shipping so maybe the shipping was just less than what I anyways I'm going off track I got back a 50% um, return on investment on that sale I spent $20 and I got back $31 and 44 cents $11 and 44 cents in profit so my question for y'all is what is your I guess average or typical expected what are you looking for on return on investment and I know that the scale matters. Shout out to Fast Talk and Flipper. We was talking on my last video, uh, essentially kind of like about this, about scale, about return on investment and stuff like that. I'm thinking like if I spend $10 and I get back profit after taxes, fees, shipping, all that good stuff, and I get back $20, that's a 100% return on investment. That's not that bad, I think. I think, I think I'm okay with that. I guess, you know, it, it really comes down to how fast something sells too, because if I bought something for $10 and it takes, <laughs> you know, I'm so, with video games, I'm so used to things selling in like within a month or two or something like that. Like even a month, it just sounds kind of super long, but like, it's hard to say. Cause I see a lot of the clothing sellers like, Oh, this sold relatively fast. I just got this two, three months ago. And I'm just like, yeesh. <laughs> and this is kind of where I'm at right now. Where like my, in my last video, um, I want to say probably two, I don't have my, I, I can open it up on my phone, but I think like maybe two of the items that I, that I, um, sold or yeah, that I showed y'all, I had in my inventory longer than like two months. Like I think for the most part, everything that I sold was like relatively just listed. So the Zumbas I had, I think for like two months or something like that, this set of video games, I, 
ah oh, man without I, I don't know how long i listed it up the hokas just listed those like a month ago. This sold in 12 minutes. That's my bows. That just, I picked this up the same day that I got my bows. So yeah, anyways, I rather, I think my in and out I need to get flip wise because I think my in and out is like roughly two months. Like at the most, I think, I think, you know what I mean? I don't know. But anyways, I was just, I was just like pondering, going over it. Am I okay with a 50% return on investment? Um, I guess that, that one depends on the scale because if I spend, uh, let's say $50 and I get back, um, $75 or right. Is that right? If I spend $50 and I get back $75 after taxes and fees, it's a $25 profit, 50%. ROI. Yeah. 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 It, it, I guess it comes down to speed, right? I'm, I'm just wondering to myself, am I looking at the wrong thing? Am I looking at wanting $20 profit? Profit per sale wrong. I, obviously, I'm not going to I'm not going to buy something for $100 and after taxes and fees get back $120. Like that's definitely, you know what I'm saying? There's like definitely there's a, there's a bar, there's a, 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 a cutoff to where I'm okay with getting this $20 profit. Um, yeah, I just really would like to, like y'all thoughts on that. I sold these back, see, this is, these right here, these sold on my um, second eBay, well, yeah, my second eBay store that's all sneakers, and they sold on a best offer, and I had these, oh my goodness, yo, I got something else to bring up, bro. And I had these listed for, when did I start selling on there again? I don't know. When I started selling on there again, a month or something like that, uh, roughly. I don't. I don't remember. But that they've been listed on there for like a month. That I bought these the very first time I tried my sneaker eBay store, um, and didn't like really keep up with it. I, I failed at it basically. Um, but they sold on a best offer of thirty four dollars free shipping. I don't remember when I got or how much I spent on these. They're a pair of uh, I don't have it's bad lighting, but they're a pair of Merrill. What is it? Casual slip on shoes. So they're Merrill slip on shoes. They kind of honestly they remind me of uh and ones. If y'all ever uh, I had a pair of and one joints back in the day, but yeah. So I had these listed for forty bucks and they sold for thirty four dollars free shipping. I don't remember how, um what I spent on them. Then that's why I like my new SKU system where I input how much I spent on the item and the actual SKU system. Much better. But dudes, let me tell y'all. I honestly returns are killing me. They are they are savagely killing me. And it's just getting to a point where I don't know what to do. I can't stop it. The the reason for these returns are insane. Honestly, one of them is my fault. The one that I just got. I don't even know if it's a return yet. I just got a message. One of the, the first one, oh, actually two of them are my fault. The first one was a laptop that I um that I sold. Uh, it, it was sold for parts. I think there was something wrong with the battery pack or whatever. When I do a listing, I do um I find somebody else's listing and I just copy pasta. You know what I'm saying? Copy paste, whatever, like sell similar and and just go from there. This is something I don't even pay attention to uh, attention to like ever. Now I guess th it's because this is a laptop. It's this really matters. And this one in particular that I copied. It said touchscreen monitor. Mine's isn't a touchscreen. I didn't realize it said that when they got it in. It was like, yo, it's not touchscreen. I was like, oh, my fault. That was like almost, I swear to God, they waited like 27 days. <laughs> that was like almost a month ago before they finally put in a return. And now it just returned and I had to uh, refund them their money. Okay. Cool. The next one that I just got, I think last night. Yeah, last night I sold a T3, a, a calculator, one of the the, the T383 cal whatever the calculators, and they they responded or they they opened up a return, and in the in the buyer's note or whatever the return note, it was like, oh, I didn't realize that some of the buttons or whatever were like kind of scrubbed off, and that's my mistake. They took they took responsibility, they took ownership or whatever, but I gotta send it back, and I'm just like, okay, yep, that's I think that's like a forty dollar bill right there. And then the most recent one or recent, because I don't even know when I sold these shoes. Can I check when I sold these shoes? I I sold a pair of Dansko like i think they're called like nurse slippers nurse shoes yeah okay it was recent so they sold on november 6th now here's 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 the the, the problem with this sale right this is my fault i am taking responsibility for this and i'm sorry if i'm yelling in your ear i'm super close to the mic right now but the listing says right here it says dansko 
khaki suede mary jane slip resistant whatever but they're not khaki they're they're blue you know what I'm saying? I, I made it again i copy pasted off of somebody else's listing apparently i didn't change anything or fix it or anything like that i must have forgot must slip my mind i don't know but they they wrote me a, honest they wasn't even nice about it like it was uh, it was it was my fault. I didn't, I, I, I screwed up. I understandable. But at the same time, like you didn't, oh, I just got a, I got an offer. Yeah, yeah, somebody sent me an offer. Bro, I was just talking about this. Okay, I'll talk to y'all about that in a second. But anyways, I got sent this message here. Hello, the color was listed as khaki and the shoes are blue. True. Please send the correct shoes or refund. Okay. If this is not settled, I will give you a poor rating. Dude, wait, can I even, why you gotta threaten me? <laughs> can I be, can I get a chance to be a good or bad person? Can you get the feel of me as a, uh, a seller, retailer, as a business before you like threaten me? Sheesh, um, man. But yeah, anyways, all that to say, returns are absolutely killing me. And I was just talking about how um, I turned best offer on all the shoes that I have. I should pull an order, right? Yeah, let me uh, let me pull an order. I'm like rambling. Dude, Amazon has been blessing me right now. The speed in which things sell on there is, it's shocking to me as an eBay seller, you know? Because on eBay, for the most part, when you list something up, it's going to take, you know, a little bit of time, at least it's a little bit of time for it to sell for the most part. Sometimes you can end up like me, sell a $150 Bose system in 12 minutes, which is absolutely insane. But dude, a lot of this stuff, like I'm just now getting on Amazon and it's selling and as me as a new seller. It literally says like new seller under my name. Um, the fact that people are trusting me to buy stuff is awesome. I sold this um, CO DVD or no Blu-ray injustice i got this at a yard sale um for a dollar and I, I picked up a big stack of them <laughs> and i spent 15 dollars on i think it was like 20 blu-ray dvds and i sold three of them at the swap meet that i go to which is basically it's a flea market i'm a seller there i go as a seller and um i sold three of them for five bucks a piece so everything that i sell from here like is a is all profit and yeah so i sold this injustice blu-ray for eight dollars and fifty cents and then i went i had this giant bin of of dvd shout out to glasses it's my dog and um i went through i scanned all of them every single last dvd and i posted up the ones that were that would make sense for for me to sell and one of them was this one right here Bloodsport ECW, the most violent matches. And I don't even know if I can show the back on YouTube, but it it is bro. <laughs> Yo, that is it is it is some serious, some serious uh combat sports uh happening right here. And this sold for ten dollars. So I was talking about how I turned on best offer on all of my listings on my second eBay account, which is my sneaker account. And, uh, but I'm also getting tired of all of the like, they, it, dude, it's 50%. It's like almost always 50% offers. It's so, I got one, oh, I woke up to one this morning that I came at like 12 a.m. A pair of shoes, a pair of Jordans, eights, the Bugs Bunnies, I had listed for $50. I got sent a $25 offer. Just now, I'm saying here, you know what I'm saying? Rapping, conversing with y'all. I had a pair of shoes that I have listed for $70. And they sent a $45 offer. Now, mind, okay, granted, that one's not a 50%. What is that, like 45%, or something like that? Um, but also, all of my listings are free shipping. All of them. All of them. I don't remember what I have into these shoes. I don't even remember getting them. They're actually, they're, like, they're nice shoes. Look at that. A pair of, uh, what is it, 720s? Nike 720s? Um, yeah. I don't know. It's annoying. I'm going to go and um, put on, like, minimum for my offers just so that I don't have to because you get uh, you get like hyped up I, I think my sound is off on this one but when you get that like bring that cha ching whatever those sounds like whoo what's going on with my ebay whoo what's happening you know what I'm saying and then you look and it's like bro <laughs> it's the, it's so frustrating anyways that is all of my sales as of right now right yeah I hit ebay I don't think I have anything on posh let me double yeah yeah no no nothing on posh ebay amazon look at me two ebays uh, amazon poshmark killing it